Dolgen here at Parish Parlor. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we are looking for best desserts in the world and the best desserts in New Orleans at Parish Parlor. A small batch ice cream parlor which specializes in classic French style ice cream and seasonal sorbets, along with offering vegan and alternative milk based options. Parish Parlor is located in the New Orleans Lower Garden District about 8 minutes and 2 miles away from the French Quarter at 1912 Magazine Street, which is one of the busiest commercial arteries in the area. When looking for the best desserts to eat in New Orleans, many believe New Orleans has some of the best desserts in the world, and the New Orleans ice cream is one of the best desserts New Orleans has to offer. They do have a beautiful front entrance, and it does beckon you invitingly to come on inside. And of course, you want to check out their little chalkboard that says Small Batch Ice Cream. And that's another lure to draw you on in. And you've got the address on the sidewalk here of 1912 Magazine Street. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So we can see it's not the biggest place in here, but they have just a nice old school ice cream parlor vibe. They also have a pretty cool little back patio area. Let's go back here and check this out. So on nicer, cooler days, this could be an enjoyable place to enjoy your ice cream. Right now in New Orleans, we're not quite in the temperature range of that. It's a little on the warmer side these days. So let's go ahead and uh, enjoy some of all these intricate design details and appreciate what a great job they've done designing this. And go on up to the ice cream parlor here and check out their menu and see what we're gonna get. Looking at the first menu board on the left, we have vanilla bean, double chocolate, roasted strawberry, cookies and cream, toasted coconut, salted caramel, bananas foster, mint chocolate, wedding cake, espresso brownie, baklava, lavender London fog, lemon ricotta honey, cardamom saffron, blackberry cheesecake, hot spring sorbet, ginger beer sorbet, and peanut butter mud pie. On the center board, we have toppings with Oreos, strawberries, pecans, peanuts, almonds, chocolate chips, toasted coconut flakes, whipped cream, sprinkles, maraschino cherries, chocolate espresso beans, toasted marshmallow, brulee banana, salted chocolate ganache, white chocolate ganache. Finally, on the right side board, we have the serving sizes with single scoop, double scoop, triple scoop, waffle cone, milkshake, malt, float, and pack pint, cold brew, pour over hot tea, and bottled water. So wow, they really do have some amazing sounding flavors. Uh, this is a really hard decision to make with so many great options. And thinking everything over, I decided just to go with something simple and a classic with a roasted strawberry and the double chocolate. So the total was $8.81 with tip for two scoops. And I was surprised it was such a larger serving size for the scoops, although it was a more expensive price for two scoops of ice cream compared to other places in the area. Let's go ahead and dig in here and see how this stuff tastes. It looks really fantastic and uh, ooh, it's got a nice aroma to it already. So I can uh, certainly tell there's some good stuff going on here and oh yes. Oh, and it does taste fantastic. This is very flavorful ice cream. It has a lot of delicious multiple layers of flavor with the strawberry here. So these roasted strawberries and this ice cream are really contributing to some really wonderful, wonderful flavors. So I've got to say the roasted strawberries are a winner. Now I've got a little of the double chocolate mixed in, a little combo. Let's see how this goes. Oh yes, this definitely is a nice flavor combination. I am enjoying the combination of the chocolate and strawberries together. And each on its own is pretty nice as well. So these are uh, two flavors that really complement each other. And the strawberry and the chocolate are certainly a great combo to get. And they would also be fantastic just on their own. So, hmm. I uh, don't really know what to say. This is uh, quite some very dense, flavorful ice cream. You can tell that they put a lot of care and love into making this really delicious ice cream. I'm very impressed with how just absolutely flavorful it is with each and every bite. And it's uh, perfectly 
done. The consistency of the ice cream is absolutely perfect, exactly the way you would want your ice cream to be. There's no little ice particles or anything at all in there. They have stored it at the perfect temperature and made it absolutely the way it needs to be. So, mmm, oh, and a little combo strawberry and chocolate delicious little bite. Oh, getting a little sad though. We're kind of uh, making some serious headway in this uh, delicious dessert experience. Now, uh, this is definitely an above average serving. I don't think it's quite a pint of ice cream, but I think I could easily eat an entire pint of this, no problem, because it is definitely a joy in each and every bite here. Okay, I've gotten through most of the strawberry, now I'm in total chocolate world. I'm a little sad about the strawberry being gone, but I'm pretty ecstatic at how fantastic this double chocolate is. It has really great chocolate flavors. It's uh, exactly the way I want my chocolate ice cream to be. So they have hit all the flavor points and every aspect that I would want in a chocolate or strawberry ice cream. So they've done a really fantastic job and Parish Parlor certainly deserves some kudos for how they've done such great work with this ice cream. And just like I've destroyed this ice cream, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about this ice cream. And while you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So, thanks so much to everybody at Parish Parlor for that amazing ice cream. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolajet channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly just take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts who would enjoy it? Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.